Hey everyone, hope you're doing okay. I wanted to share with you real quick what the the first thing that we do is uh, whenever we're trying to diagnose an issue in a lawn. If you've got an area that's that's problematic, that's dying off, or it just doesn't look good, maybe it's not greening up like the rest of the lawn. Whenever we go out to try to figure out what's going on, the, the, the very first thing that we do, first and foremost, is a screwdriver test. We take a screwdriver with us, about four to five inches long, and throughout the problematic area, we are sticking it into the ground, just like that, all the way down to the, to the shaft of the screwdriver. Uh, we're sticking it all the way down to the ground. And what that, what that tells us is, if, if it goes in with ease, with a minimal effort, all the way down to the shaft, then that tells us that it's likely not a watering issue, that it's, it's getting enough water in that area, and it's also likely not a soil compaction issue. And then we can move on to, you know, to other potential issues. Now, if it doesn't, if it's hard to push down into the ground, or maybe it goes part of the way, but not all the way down uh, into the ground, or maybe it doesn't go in at all, that's, that's where we start. We know uh, that, that at that point that it's not getting enough water because the ground's not soft at all. It's very dry and it's very hard. And so we need to look at the, adjusting the sprinkler system. We need to look at maybe checking that zone to see if it's, if it's working properly. Um, and then the other thing it tells us is, is soil compaction. You've got a very compact lawn if you can't get, your, get a screwdriver down, uh, down into the ground all the way to the shaft, about four inches or so. So you need to look at getting an aeration. We'll talk about when the last aeration was um, at that point. So those are the, the first, first places and best places to always start whenever you're trying to diagnose issues in your lawn. So um, if you've got a problematic area, start with that. Get a screwdriver out there, stick it into the ground, and, uh, and that can tell you a lot um, before having somebody come out to see if it's a, you know, a fungus or a disease. It could be a fungus or a disease or an insect or something like that, uh, but always start with, with a screwdriver test to determine if it's water or soil compaction. So hope that helps. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.